So I hope that the message I give here um, reaches you and you start to see the things that I'm seeing uh, from Neville's work. And I know Neville has spoke a lot about the Bible, and there's this big acceptance of duality in the Bible. And the idea is that, you know, there's a scripture that says, I kill, I make alive, I wound and I heal. And that's what the, you know, God says in the scriptures. And it's this acceptance of the duality of things, that they both stem from the same root, and the root is imagination. That if you have one, the other is also rooted in imagination. And when I saw that all things are made of the same substance, that my peace and my anxiety stem from the same source, which is imagination, I stopped feeling unworthy of any thought. The feeling of not being worthy enough for my good thoughts just left me when I saw that they're made of the same thing, which is imagination. And I know Neville, in the beginning of his um, teachings, he would give the ladder experiment, which he would ima- he would tell you to imagine um, your right arm and your left leg, and you know climb up and down this ladder in your imagination, and do that every night. You know, it says do it every night for five minutes, and then during your day, walk around saying, "I will not climb a ladder." And there were people who would climb that ladder. Now, I actually decided to do a different item. I wanted to do a rubber duck, because rubber ducks were just not something I'd ever come across. So I was like, "I want something I won't come across." And this was years ago, and I, I pulled out my right, you know, imaginary hand, and I put a rubber duck in it, and I felt the rubber. I kind of pressed into it. I saw its orange beak and its white body and you know, the little eye. And about two weeks later, I, I mean, I just did it for maybe five minutes one day. And about two weeks later, I, I did receive that rubber duck. And that's when I, that wasn't the first, well, I guess that was, maybe that was the first manifestation that I tried. Well, it worked is the point I'm trying to say. And then I tried it with um many things after that. I just kept trying it with many, many things, uh, just different types of items. But I stopped being interested in doing that. I just wasn't very interested in receiving items that much. I started to see that I actually wanted an ease and a peace inside my body, inside my mind. And I couldn't seem to find that peace if through items. Um, I realized I, I desired a deep, understanding of imagination. I want to understand imagination instead of just trying to get items. I wanted to know what it, what, who I am inside of it. And what I found is that we're the creator of both the, both states are made of the same substance that the, you know, the panic attack and the feelings of connection and love are both stemming from the same root. And when you see that they're the same substance that that the ladder, that the rubber duck, are made of the same substance imagination, then you won't feel unworthy of anything because, as I said before, you're the inner man. Everything is yours in imagination. Everything is yours. You shouldn't walk around in your mind feeling that th- certain thoughts aren't yours. Who else's would they be? Who else? Who else's thoughts would they be? And you can conjure up new scenes and scenarios. And I, yeah, I've also done it with conversations with people where I've, told, I've imagined them telling me things. Well, when I discovered that even the conversations we have are made of the same substance imagination, then you're able to change it and choose what you desire. You become a chooser. And you don't have to fight your anxious thoughts. You just see that they're stemming from the same source. So... Now, whenever I have unconfident thoughts or, or feelings of hopelessness or powerlessness, I realize that that powerlessness is stemming from the same source as where my powerful feelings come from. And that helps me realize that they're not, one's not stronger than the other. Um, I'm not allowed to have one and not the other. I'm allowed to have both because they're just stemming from the same substance. All these physical items are stemming from the same substance, imagination. So you don't feel that a rubber duck and a ladder are on different grounds because they're stemming from the same source. 
And when you see that that I create my peace and I create my anxiety, and you accept that duality comes from you, then you unify it. And then you can you don't necessarily have to have um, constant anxiety every time you want peace. That it's that you get to go towards peace and realize that peace is not any greater than the anxiety you experienced. It's just it's made of the same substance. It's just a different route in imagination. And I I desired this deeply because I have found over time that imagining objects just doesn't satisfy the soul as much as realizing that everything in my mind is created by me. That acceptance, that the panic attack that's arising is made of the same, that same thought, is made of thought or, or imagination, whatever you want to say. And that overwhelming sense of peace is the same thing creating it. And I can go towards anything within it. And I don't need to desire anything within it then it's really just a true freedom that arises. And I don't see why any, no one else can have that. Everyone else can have it. Like the same imagination that was in Neville's and me and you and everyone. It's, we're all made of the same substance. We're just in different you know, states within it. And all states, again, are made of the same substance. It tells you that in the Bible. Not just I create, I kill, I make alive, I create the, the peace and the calamity, and I'm, I create the wealth and the poverty. You know, he does it all. And once you stop separating that, like, you, if you feel that your negative thoughts or your anxious thoughts are stemming from some outside source or from external thing from you, then you will feel powerless. You have to, to feel powerless in the mind is that you have to make yourself small, that you don't actually lose your power. You just perceive yourself as small, right? The Bible tells you that they appeared as giants and we appeared as grasshoppers, right? So if you if you make yourself small like a grasshopper, things will feel large to you. Thoughts will feel scarier if you make yourself smaller than them. But you're the thinker. You don't have to react to any negative thought. You don't have to judge it. You don't have to do any of that. You just see it's made of the same substance as any other peaceful thought. That it's not stronger or anything. And then you accept the other ones that you want. And then you start to move effortlessly in imagination. You stop straining. It stops becoming a headache. That you can, you're allowed to be indifferent. That you're allowed to not react to the anxious thoughts you don't want. They're not made of any different substance than the peaceful thoughts. And that is actually what I say to myself. When I do have thoughts I dislike, I just repeat the word <laughs> same substance. And I realize it's, I can just mo go towards something else. Um, I just remember that the ladder and the rubber duck are the same substance. And I, I truly think that the, this acceptance of this duality, the fight, the, the fighting within ourselves will stop or at least will come to a deeper peace than you would have if you didn't realize it was from the same substance. Because when you don't realize that, you're going to think that your anxious thoughts are coming from the physical objects in front of you, or that, or the external world is what I mean. Or you'll think, you'll think of some other God, some other source for it. But there is only one source, one God, one Lord, one, as Neville says, everything, you know, one Father, all, all of that. But it's true. He does both. You know, he creates and he destroys. And the, the whole point is that it's just trying to show you that you have to accept that um, there isn't two gods here, that you don't have to fight within, that nothing's putting that on you, that negative thought. And I hope that, I know I'm repeating myself, but it is important. And I felt like I had to share this because this is something that's really helped me realize that I, whenever I have an unconfident thought or I feel worried or concerned, I realize I'm imagining. And these are all made of the same substance as my lovely thoughts. And I'm allowed to move and change. And, yeah, so I hope this message reaches, reaches you. Um, truly, I really hope this helps.